This is the Varla Eagle One 2.0, and I did some videos on the original version, but there were a couple things I just didn't like about it. Those things have actually been addressed on this version, so I will find out if they are better or just different. Those things were, the throttle was an index finger before, now it's a thumb throttle, and the down tube stem had a lot of flex in it, but that has been redesigned. It is thicker with a new locking mechanism, so hopefully that will be much stiffer and more fun to ride. I did make a couple changes right away. I swapped the brakes, so the front brake is on the right and the rear brake is on the left. The original actually came this way, but I understand why they went back since most bicycles come the other way. I also removed the brake sensors just so I could use some throttle and brake at the same time for more control. Some other features on this scooter are dual motors with new tubeless tires. The fenders here look like they have nice coverage. I think the shocks are upgraded, full suspension. It has dual charging ports, some new lights on the side, and a new latch here when you fold it up. I have been out riding it quite a bit already, but it's time to get some video. All right, Hannah's gonna kick things off for us here, starting off on the motocross track, but we have some mountain bike trails here that we're going to turn into. If I can keep up, she's cruising already. And it's a little greasy, so I'll make it a little bit slippery on the tires. I did drop the pressure on the scooter to about 10 PSI, hoping that smooths out some of the roots, gives a little better traction. It was a little bouncy and harsh at first with how much air was in them, so hopefully that helps. But she's gonna ride most of the trail. I'll jump in when it gets a little more difficult. So if full suspension is full, right? Oh, you can get it, try again. Oh, little case there, but nice balance to hang out of that one. How'd that feel? Oh, so cool. More rollers here. And a steep downhill we're coming up to. See how she can control this jump here. Oh yeah. I wanted to jump in here just to hit this jump. Oh, I think I got the downside. Let's see if I can get the skinny now. Oh, little case on. A little lack of balance, but held it together and kept it moving to the end. All right, that was pretty tough. Back to Hannah now. We are in dual motor mode. It seems like single motor is pretty weak and it struggled to pull up some of the hills. So dual motor gives you more power, obviously, and more control in the dirt. So we've had to stick with that for now. See if she can handle these berms. Then I might have to take over again for the jump. Oh, I almost jumped that one. Oh, she's just going for it. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Let me give that a shot. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Just need to hit it a bit faster. Get a little bit of air right into the log too. Oh, that was harsh. Okay, I want to see if it can make it up this hill in single motor mode. So you hold the plus button for two seconds and that turns it from dual motor to single. Let's see if it'll do it. I just tried it with me and I did not make it. So we'll see the weight difference makes enough difference. A lot slower start on single motor mode. Jeez, he's not quite making it. Back to dual motor with no run on the hill. Let's see if it can pull her up now. All the power it has. No problem. So there's quite a bit of difference there from single to dual. It is back to me now because there is a big drop. Kind of scared, but no problem actually. Handles it. Back to Hannah and she's cruising for now. Got a bit of smooth trail, but it's going to get technical here soon. So probably right back to me for this log and tight spot. You don't want to ride that? No. <laughs> yeah, that one you'd probably end up casing pretty hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I think I can pop right over that. And it gets pretty tight. And it is a little weird handling through this tight stuff. The front end is just not what I'm used to. Not quite like a bike. Feels a bit disconnected, but I'm starting to get hang of it a little bit more. Getting more comfortable with how to lean in the corners. 
to get around them how you want to. Something I think is really fun on this is rolling backwards. It's pretty tricky, but actually works better than I expected, although getting out of it is a little tricky, so try that one again. Power me up to the top. Little tufts get back to the power when I want to. There we go. That was better. You want to try roll back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a yes to me. Oh gosh. You don't have to go all the way to the top, but you can go all the way to the top if you want. Oh, she's going pretty far up there. Must be confident. Oh, 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 oh. Is that hard? <laughs> yeah. She's going to try a little bit lower. See if that makes it easier. Oh, losing balance. This is weird. <laughs> She found a smaller spot to try the rollbacks out and it's working way better. Look at that. <laughs> Let's see if she can clean that up. With the one. That's okay, it's a scooter, right? You're supposed to push once in a while. I'm I was scooting. <laughs> Just scooting. Now for a straight line fakie test. Oh boy, I'm off. Take two. Gotta stay nice and straight. That's feeling better. Did not get to turn around though. Third time's the charm. Oh, go, go, go. There we go. What other tricks you got? Oh, <laughs> big stoppy. It's beautiful. How Just about, beautiful. How about a skid? Styling. So what did you think after some trails and some tricks? It was pretty fun actually. I didn't mind it at all. It was a lot of fun for the laughter factor. Lots of, <laughs> lots of laughter factor, that's a good thing. <laughs> How'd the sizing feel? It looks pretty tall for you. Well, I'm about 5'4". I'm a little under 5'4", but I like to say 5'4". So just to give you guys a reference. Did that affect the handling at all? A little bit, I would say on the jump wise, the downhill areas, it would go into my stomach. <laughs> well, I think Hannah might have had more fun than I did in this video, but I still had a good time. I mainly wanted to test the throttle and the front end flex, and I will say that the throttle is a huge improvement. It is much better than the first version with that index finger throttle, but I would still prefer to have a twist throttle. The front end is a lot better, but as you can see here, there is some play in it and it looks to be coming from this area here. I have the knob as tight as I can get it by hand. Maybe I could minimize some more play if I went crazy, but I want to be able to loosen this up so I can fold it down, so I don't want to go too tight with it. Test out that new latch when you do fold it here. There we go. I do have to do another video on this, so I'll keep an eye on if that slop gets worse or if there's anything I can do to tighten it up. I will also test the on-road capability as well as top speed and range, but if there's something else that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. There's also something that I'm not liking on this one as much as I did on the old one, but I'm going to make sure I'm not missing something before talking about it, so stay tuned to the next video for that. If you are interested in buying one of these, check out the info in the description below to save some money and help me out. Thanks for watching.